Welcome to Co-Creating Now with Monica Goyle. Monica is a spiritual counselor and healer with a life purpose to put people in touch with their innate healing abilities, empowering them to live a life full of joy, love, peace, and abundance. Through this show, you'll learn to heal every aspect of your life by connecting to your higher self. And now your host, Monica Goyle, on the Om Times Radio Network. Namaste listeners, welcome back. Hope you are having a beautiful Tuesday wherever you are. And here we are back for another conscious discussion and also learning about the choices we make, the answers that we are seeking and are those choices on the right track. Let's have a discussion with Nancy Byrne who's the author of this beautiful spirit work, Choices. And she will be guiding us how and why we make the choices we make and who on earth has more wisdom, love, and compassion than spirit. Author Nancy Byrne asks and answers this question with her new book, Choices. Welcome, Nancy. Thank you, Monica. So glad to have you. Thank you so much. I'm very pleased to be on your radio show. It's an honor. Awesome. So, Nancy, tell us uh, how you came to write choices. Um, Well, Spirit told me that I needed to write a book, and I didn't think anyone I had anything to say or that Anyone <laughs> want to read anything that I had to say? And um, um, so my question, actually, let me, uh, I mean, I, I just wanted to say, were there certain life situations or your experiences that led you to who you are? And this book came from that? Yes, I had a, I can, I had a very um, traumatic childhood. Um, My father um, drank a lot and physically abused my mother and myself and um, and actually um, um, sexually abused me until I reached um, puberty. And um, so I think that's why Spirit wanted me to write the book because a lot of other people have gone through similar situations and Mm -hmm. everyone thinks that they're all alone and we're not all alone. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. I guess Spirit thought that the book could help other people to, you know, know that they weren't all alone. They weren't the only ones. So I never wanted anyone to know anything about my background. I was very ashamed, and I thought that they would think I was not a good person because Mm -hmm. I was my father's daughter. And uh, Spirit just said that the book could help empower and, and just help a lot of other people. So I wrote it. Mm-hmm. So tell us more um, about your own journey, about your evolution, and you know how you started listening to Spirit's guidance. How did it all come along? Because I'm sure a lot of us, lot of us go through so much, and like you said, we feel lonely, and we don't know. I mean, we are lost, right? So, I, I mean. We would like to hear your story, Um, you know, how you figured out that there is this higher guidance there, you know, that's talking to you and letting you know uh, where to go. Well, um, I I always, um, I, I just never thought that anyone cared about me or that I was loved or very lovable or, Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, I guess my father always told me that no one would ever love me. I was the black widow and the black sheep of the family. And Mm -hmm. um, when I was about, I guess I was about 10 or 11, we lived across the street from a Catholic church. We were Catholics at the time. Mm -hmm. And my dad had gone into town to the bars. And um, for some reason, I was just, I was really, 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 um, depressed and sad more so than normal and I snuck out of the house and I went uh, to the church and um, it was 
you know, it was Rocky Ford, Colorado, so they didn't lock the doors. And I went in and walked up to the front and knelt down. And and the mm. whole church was dark, except there were two penance candles that were lit on the front. And mm-hmm. I remember just crying and crying and just begging God to just let me die. I just kept saying, please, oh. please don't. I'm so miserable. Please let me die. And there are people that want to live and, and they die. And I want to die and you're making me live. And why are you doing this? And I was just in, you know, in tears. And then I felt a hand on my shoulder and I thought, oh, great. It's the Catholic priest. And now he's going to take me home and I'm going to get beat up again for sneaking out of the house. And um, I turned around and no one was there. Mm. And when I turned back and looked at the, um, at the altar, it was all lit up. It wow. was this beautiful, beautiful golden light. It was just, I don't even know how to describe it. And mm-hmm. at that moment, I felt so ashamed that I'd been given, even as a kid, that I'd been given this wonderful gift of life and I didn't want it. I was just wanted to toss it away because things were rough. And I just, I, I, I knew that, that God cared about me. <laughs> yeah. So in that moment, that realization came and all of a sudden you felt your life was so precious and there was so much love, divine love around you. Yes, I did. And I feel like I believe that, you know, we're all connected and we all need each other. But I feel like, you know, we search so much for approval from everyone else and and we want to be accepted and we want others to love us and you know we have all the love that we really really need i and and all the you know i just think sometimes we just don't realize how much we have it's right in front of us (laughs) just don't reach out and and grab hold of it yeah yeah so i mean I I know. I mean, of course, you know, in those circumstances, the situation you were in and as a child, it's really hard to see anything beyond that, right? Yes, it is. So I think that prayer from your honest heart, you know, it was like you, you were just at that point, you were just ready to let go or you just opened yourself fully now like you had no choice other than to just give yourself completely to divine like whatever happens yes i guess so <laughs> i was so, pretty desperate <laughs> it yeah so it was like now you fully you just had no choice you know what i'm trying to say is it's like we always do have a choice, right? We we have we all have that higher guidance, that connection, that spirit all the time. But it's just that um, you know we just feel we have lost it. We just don't feel we are in touch with that until we finally acknowledge and accept and just give ourselves completely to that. I think you have to just, for myself, I just, I finally, you know, it's a journey. You don't learn just, it was a tremendous experience, but still then other life circumstances come along and you kind of forget, you know, it's like, yeah, did I make this up? Does it, was it, did it really happen? Or, or things get bad and you think, well, if God loves me so much, why am I going through this <laughs> now? You know, you kind of expect it to be just all, um, you know, roses, yeah. I guess, sunshine yeah. and roses, but it's just every single step of the way spirit wants us to just, learn to let go and to trust and when you do it just everything falls into place it's just I I can't even describe it's just amazing the things that happen when you Monica I moved to Whidbey Island just (laughs) recently (laughs) and um I am have been terrified of water my 
my father tried to drown me as a child. Mm. And I, you know, you remember that trying to breathe and the water coming into your lungs, oh. and how terrified you were. And, you know, and um, it the way it just happened and um well, a girlfriend invited me to come and visit her because, um, she, and she would promote my book. She had a, a vacation home in on mm-hmm. Whitney Island, and so my husband and I, I really liked the idea, and I wanted to have a book signing. So we um, we purchased the airplane tickets, and then um, the week before we were supposed to come, she called me and said. I can't have a book signing for you. She said, my husband's being transferred and I have to get our house ready for sale and we're going to move to Whidbey Island. But (laughs) why don't you and your husband just come and get the key and come and stay at our house? You'll really enjoy it there. Mm -hmm. So since we already had the tickets, we came and um, it was beautiful and everything, but I did not want to move to Whidbey Island. (laughs) And so when we went back home, I, um, I wrote an automatic writing to spirit and I said why did this happen why did we spend money for airfare and you know the only reason I wanted to go was you know to have a book signing so why did this happen the way it did and spirit said that um, my girlfriend had invited me she didn't know this at the time but she had invited me because we're I was going to be moving to Whidbey Island and I and I told my husband, bet me, I'm not going to be anywhere around water. <laughs> <laughs> but then I kept feeling like there was just, and I don't know how to explain it. You just have this feeling inside of you that, you know, that I needed to do another writing. And so I asked Spirit, I said, why did I write that? You know, I know that we're not mm-hmm. going to be moving. I'm very happy where I'm at, you know, and... um you know, why was I wrong? I usually I, I usually really hear what you say. And Spirit said, you weren't wrong. You heard exactly what I said. You're, you're going to be moving to the island. Wow. And Nancy, we will continue with the story after a short break. So, friends, please stay with us. Feed your soul with waves of consciousness on Ohm Times Radio. Do you want to be a better communicator? Do you want to better connect with the important people in your life? Do you want to enrich your relationships? If so, join me, Matthew Cooper, on the Positive Control System Show every Wednesday evening at 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Ohm Times Radio. I'll meet you there. Simone Millicis would like you to know that business can be fun, which is why she wrote the book, Joy of Business. What if you could have the joy of business rather than the stress and struggle? Most of the time, the only thing stopping you from a thriving business is you. In the Joy of Business book, Simone gives you access consciousness tools and pragmatic ways to get out of your own way and to create the business, life, and living you know is possible and beyond what this reality says is achievable. Business is joy. It's creation. It's generative. It can be the adventure of living. You can purchase your copy of the book through Amazon or Joy of Business website, www.accessjoyofbusiness.com. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Change the world if you're broke. I know, I tried. Isn't it time you turned your life's calling into a profitable, freedom based business? I'm Michelle Barr. Join me every Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern for Sacred Success. The Real Conscious Connection. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. And we are back. Welcome back, everyone. Um, so, Nancy, we were talking about um, you moving to the island when you were scared of, you know, of water all your life. Yes. Well, it, everything, my, and my husband did not want to move. He said, no, how can we give up everything we have here? We had four acres of land, and our <laughs> animals just loved it. Um, with It was 
it was a very nice place. And so uh, I said, well, <laughs> this is really what spirit wants us to do. And, you know, Phil, you always say that spirit is always right now that you don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you think spirit might be wrong. And um, so we came back to the island and looked around. And um, when we found this home, the minute I got out of the car, we hadn't even been in the house, but the trees, oh, Monica, and the light was shining through the trees. It was almost mm -hmm. like you could imagine, you know, that when you see in movies that spirit is coming down through the light, you mm -hmm. know, it was gorgeous. Wow. And I said, this is where we belong. And Phil said, yeah, it feels that way too. Wow. And then we came in and so uh, within th we came, the first time we had come when we were invited to, to come by my girlfriend was in June. And now here we are, three months later, we sold our house, we bought this house, we moved a dog and four cats, <laughs> and wow. it's just paradise here, I love it so wow. much. But then, uh, Nancy, so you, you have made that conscious decision that you will always listen to that inner guidance, but what happened with the fear, like you always have had the fear of water. So what was the journey like? I mean, making that decision and what was the process like? Well, I, I've i learned that um, I'm very stubborn <laughs> and I've finally learned that it's always better to listen spirit loves you, loves me, loves all of us more than we love ourselves mm -hmm. and has, wants what's best for us. And so I'm just learning to trust in that. And mm -hmm. I know that I'm not going to be moved to an island so that I can drown. <laughs> <laughs> what so, purpose would that serve anyone? Yeah. And, uh, but I have to say that initially when I, realized that I was supposed to move, I had a few um, frightening mm -hmm. nights, you know, dreaming mm -hmm. about water and, and, and that, you know, I was falling into the water and all this stuff. And so I did another writing and, um, and, and God said that the dreams weren't meant to frighten me. They were to show me that I always, always am, am protected. I, in my dreams, I never drowned. In fact, I enjoyed being in the water until I realized that I was in the water and panicked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that they were to encourage me and to show me, you know, that I am always protected. And I really believe that. I think when you, when you entrust your life to spirit mm -hmm. and you know, you can feel the tremendous love that there is for you, mm -hmm. that you just, have to let go it's it's frightening sometimes yeah. and um but it always works out for your best every time i have let go of my hard-headedness or what <laughs> i thought was right for me things turn out it, it's it's not i would have never imagined how well they could turn out mm -hmm. and so, so i guess true. time after time after time of that happening i'm finally learning to just trust and, and just go with whatever spirit wants me to do. Mm -hmm. That's so beautiful and so true. I think it happens with all of us. We just feel we know what is best for us. Or like you said, you had fear of water. We all have so many, you know, fear of so many things and so much resistance about things. But sometimes uh, we are just guided in that direction. So we can learn. There is no need to fear. It's like just to help you let go of that. That's holding you back. Isn't that true, Nancy? That is true. And that's exactly what Spirit said. He said, I was going to move because I needed to, I still needed to learn to trust and I needed to let go because I, <clears throat> as a, I think as a child, we were poverty stricken it wasn't that we were poor but my dad spent you know most of the money on on booze and women so um we did sometimes we didn't even have enough food to eat and 
when I get something, I just, I don't let go. I don't want to let go of people. I don't want to let go of jobs. I don't want to let go of things. And, you know, it's, it's all, nothing really matters when you have spirit. I think it's, I mean, obviously we need people in our lives and, Mm -hmm. you know, it's wonderful to have a family and to be loved and to have people that you love. But the, most important thing is that God loves you and Mm -hmm. you know that you can trust him. You know, there was a point where um, my son was in a, I'm just telling you this to um, give you an example. My son was in a horrible car accident and he, they had to call the jaws for life to get him out of the car and glass, you know, was all over his face and Mm -hmm. everything. If I could have taken his place, I would have because, you know, uh, well, a mom would do that, but I couldn't. I I couldn't take his place. I wasn't given that opportunity. But spirit can. Spirit can do anything. Mm-hmm. As humans, we're very limited. Spirit is not limited. Yeah. And when you trust in spirit, anything is possible. Anything, Monica. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so true. So, I mean, you definitely have come a long way. And it's like, it's, it's like for you, it just comes naturally to listen to that inner voice. Well, not all the time. Like I said, I'm (laughs) really stubborn. (laughs) I'm trying to, I'm really, that's my goal. You know, Mm -hmm. we're not, none of us are are perfect or I don't arrived or, you know, but that's my goal. I just want to just for it just to automatically happen that I always listen to spirit. Mm -hmm. So Nancy, from that point on, when you first experienced divine love or spirit, as you said, we are not perfect. So there have been times since then that when you fell back into your um, old self, like feeling miserable, not feeling love taken care of, or after that you you were always feeling uplifted and always connected. I don't, I haven't felt unloved Mm -hmm. and I haven't felt miserable Mm -hmm. um, because I know without, that's the one thing I know is that God loves me unconditionally. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I do, I do get, um, (laughs) <laughs> well, as you know, I get kind of nervous and upset sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, we all do. So, Nancy, tell us, how do you know that this is the right choice for you? How do you know that spirit is guiding you? Because... Every time I listen to that inner voice Mm -hmm. or when I do an automatic writing, it's never, it has never, ever, ever been wrong. And everything has worked out just perfectly for me. And so I guess it's through trial and error. You know, Mm -hmm. sometimes we don't, we get so caught up in our own daily lives and, and in what's going on, trying to make a living, trying to provide for our family, um, trying to please others and gain their approval that we don't listen to spirit. Yeah. You know, um, there's, you know, there's a verse that says that, you know, God talks to us when we're asleep because it's the only time that we slow down enough to listen, that we're quiet enough to listen. Mm-hmm. And when, you know, when you just, when you just finally, I think sometimes things have to, with me, things had to be so, get so bad that I had nowhere else to turn but to God. Mm -hmm. And when I finally just did, I just felt that sense of peace and, and just joy just Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so you just have to listen to your inner voice and trust it and and just little baby steps and then you see that it starts working out and then you try something bigger and then you try something bigger and pretty soon you realize that you know god has your back you Mm -hmm. 
spirit is always with you and and as long as you're not just i think when you're really if you if you're asking spirit to help you spirit obviously wants to help you you can't go wrong and there is no way that you will not know that this is something for your highest good or this is this is coming from your higher self yes you you just can't miss it no i don't think you can i think that the more you 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 reach out and and talk to spirit and involve god in your life every single day that you know just you know you know the difference from when it's just your mind chatter and when it's spirit talking to you mhm mhm that's i i think that's so true i mean so many times we try to ignore that that voice within us and uh we just and it just keeps saying you know it just keeps repeating um uh, but sometimes we just you know because we are so much in this um logical practical uh world that we you know we just try to quieten that voice within us because we don't want to hear it usually it's because too because we don't want to do what that voice is telling us to do like i did not want to move to with god <laughs> yeah. so i thought that you know i was thinking oh my gosh i made a mistake you know yeah. i i don't know why i always hear spirit and i and it's i'm it's always you know spot on but this time <laughs> I, i thought i wasn't well i was it was just that i didn't want to move i i I was terrified to move and so we pretend like it's not real and we push yeah. it aside but God always knows what's better for us. Mhm. So so and and you are very happy after the move. Oh, I love it here. Every morning my husband and I look out here and and we say, "Oh, can you my husband <laughs> says, "Can you believe we're here?" <laughs> wow. That's so beautiful. We will take just a short break and we will come back. A conscious lifestyle for a mindful life. Om Times Radio. IOM FM Hi this is Julie Geigel. I'm Maggie Chula and I'm Catherine Glass and we're the Psychic Angel Channelers. Join us every week here on Om Times Radio for Angel Talk Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. The angels have heard your call and are here to help. Are you ready to receive? Remember your magnificence with Angel Talk Tuesday. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships. Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today. at ascendinghearts.com and change your love paradigm ascending hearts the premier dating community for the spiritually awake being a radio host on iom fm allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience unlimited by time and distance Om Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Om Times endeavor. Host your show with Om Times Radio Network. Hey ladies, do you want to have that good hair day feeling all the time? Gentlemen, would you want your special someone to have that glow letting you know she is feeling completely satisfied? This feeling and that glow can be yours by embracing your sexual power. So join me, Rachel Kenley, award-winning romance author on the O Spot. The O Spot will guide you to that peak with guest interviews, book discussions, and conversations on the thrills of sexual empowerment. Put the zing back in your life. Come up and see me sometime on the O Spot, live on Hump Day at 10 p.m. Eastern. 
the best of holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. We are back. Um, welcome back, Nancy. Um, so, Nancy, you majored in psychology. Yes. And do you think that in some way helped you um, going in words and understanding yourself? Um, well, I've always been, I've always been fascinated by the human mind. Mm -hmm. And, um, I think it gives you a little bit of, um, I think what it does is it helps you to understand, um, I think relationships and, um, You know, honestly, Monica, I think until I um, realized that um, spirit was always with me, I um, I'm an astrologer and uh, wow, and um, you know, a psychologist, and I um, I never have applied any of those things to me, you know, mm-hmm. to my life, um, which seems kind of weird, I guess, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I but guess I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I, I think it was, I, I just, I think it's any changes, any realizations I have come to have had to be um, through spirit. You know, we were talking about how you don't listen to that inner voice because you don't want to, you don't want to do what it's telling you to do or you're scared. I think we're all so fear based. Yeah. You know, we're scared of everything and. I I do readings for people, and sometimes I'll do a reading for someone, and they're just, they know. They're paying me to give them the reading. Mm -hmm. They know what's best for them. They know that this this person loves them or wants to be with them, even though this person never is there for them, even though this person is going out with other women, even though, or other men, Mm -hmm. (laughs) even though, you know, and spirit is just saying, you know, you deserve so much more. Mm-hmm. This person is not the person for you, but they're just, people are so scared to let go of what they have. You know, I think it's that old saying, you know, bird in the hand is better than two in the bush, but it's just, you can have, you you can have it all. You really can. You can <laughs> have everything if you just trust and are willing to take a step. You know, there's nothing to fear. You know, what is that verse of God before you? Who can be against you? You know, it yeah. just, everything works out the way, you know, the way it should. In my book, um, Choices, I wrote an acknowledgement to this young lady, um, Autumn Shills. Mm-hmm. She also moved. She, um, she was, she's the person that's on the cover of my book. And, um, I used her picture because it was symbolic of the choices we all have to make from Mm. time to time, you know, frightening and overwhelming as they may seem. I'm reading this from my book. When we listen and follow our inner guidance spirit, we are guaranteed to find the happiness we seek in an effort to forge a better life for herself and her son. Autumn showed great courage in leaving the comfort and security of her family, friends, and all of her acquaintances behind to embark on a new life. Mm-hmm. In Maui, which is where the photo was taken, she was so wow. scared to move. She didn't have, she didn't know anybody, and you know. And um, for the first uh, few weeks, they lived in a little one-bedroom apartment, and um, they slept on the floor. She left her clothes, her belongings, everything behind, and just followed that inner inner voice. And now she's. They're so happy. They've been they've been there two years. Um, she's a regional vice president for this big company, and everything is just going very smoothly for her. And before that, she was struggling. Yes, she was struggling a lot. She mm-hmm. had a pretty miserable life, <laughs> mm-hmm. but she chose to listen to her spirit and followed the guidance and took that leap of faith. Yes. And she had a son, a little, uh, a, 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 you know, a, a, a young son that she was 
responsible for. And um, that was that I'm sure that was extremely frightening. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you just have to just trust, you know, just you ask. I think that I believe that you ask and you do receive, you know, God's not going to send some. Somebody said, how do you know it's God you're hearing from? Mm -hmm. How do you know it's not some evil spirit or something? I think that when you're genuine, your heart is, you're genuinely asking God and you're sincere, God's not going to let anybody else give you answers. Mm -hmm. You know, that would be ridiculous. If you're asking God, you're going to get the answers from God. That's so beautiful. So I just, it's just a matter of just asking listening and then paying attention (laughs) and acting (laughs) i think that's a big part right sometimes we just we know we know this is what is our guidance but it's so hard to take a step on it it is because we can't see we we look through life like we we have blinders on we can only see right in front of us mm-hmm. and so we we just feel like how could this possibly happen you know this can't happen but um it's god sees everything and is in charge of orchestrating everything i mean how could somebody possibly just you know go to another country on a vacation you know turn the corner bump into somebody and that's the love of their life. You know, <laughs> they, if you try to plan it that way, it wouldn't mm, work out, but no. the spirit can make it happen. To that's me, so it's amazing. Yeah. It's to me, it's like, and I know I've used this analogy before, but you know, you want to be a, a, a um, an, an opera singer, but you don't have the money and you don't have this and you don't have that and you don't know any people and how can mm-hmm. you make it happen? And it just, you know, but spirit and you want it to happen right away because that's me. I want everything and I want it now, mm-hmm. today, yesterday. <laughs> but spirit is able to find the perfect building for you mm-hmm. to get the, the stage all set up, you know, to get the stage hands and and all the props set into place, to get the orchestra and the conductor, you know, to get all the other people that are going to be involved and get it all together in one spot so that you can walk onto the stage and shine. Mm -hmm. And that's what spirit wants to happen for you. You know, he wants you to be happy and to have everything that that your heart desires. We weren't... I. I don't believe that we were put on this earth to be miserable and to suffer and to do without. We were given our lives to live them and to enjoy them. Mm -hmm. That's so true. But Nancy, what about the hard lessons that we have? Well, Monica, this is just my belief, but I believe that before we're even born, our soul knows what we need to learn, the lessons mm-hmm. that we come into this lifetime to learn. And the best way to learn them, I believe that we choose our circumstances. Mm-hmm. You know, some people say, oh, my God, how could a loving God, you know, have some child, <laughs> you know, born without an arm or a leg? Or, you know, I believe it was that soul's so, yeah, choice to do that because – that was the only way that that person would learn the lessons they needed to learn. Mm-hmm. And so I, you know, I'm not, I really had a pretty unhappy, miserable childhood mm-hmm. and I wouldn't want to go back there. <laughs> and I would hope that nobody else would ever have to go through that. But I, you know, I'm who I am because of those experiences. That's so true. And, you know, very grateful. Uh, you are so inspiring. You are sharing your true self. And I mean, so many of us, or I would say all of us at some point have gone through, you know, very painful experiences. And this reminds all of us, you know, it's like this, there is a lesson that we were supposed to learn. This is a choice that we made ourselves. And there is a reason for it. I, I 
truly believe that. I agree with that wholeheartedly. I think that, um, you know, I, um, I really want to help empower people mm-hmm. and, and I'm very, um, you know, I'm very, um, compassionate and I understand that when something happens, you just don't get over it, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. it's a process and, you know, I might have been a totally different person if my life had been really easy and everything had come easily for me. And, you know, I, I know people that, um, you know, that don't have that compassion or caring for other people. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. you know, so I just think you, you, it's a process. Life is a process. You can't go to college until you go to kindergarten first. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you, you have to, yeah. Yeah, and and yeah. so you grow. It's, it's incremental. It's just one step at a time. But if you just enjoy the journey, mm-hmm. you know, we're all in such a hurry to get to the <laughs> end and to reach the goal. But the journey is the beautiful part of life is just to enjoy every day, every moment that you have because it's it truly is a gift it's <laughs> mhm mhm so nancy what i'm hearing is you're never at the wrong place or it's it it is even though you are going through tough situations that is helping you evolve that's helping you grow and there is always a choice to stay connected within yourself and knowing that to be able to enjoy each moment of that growth. Exactly. Exactly. And we, we can choose to just wallow in our misery and Mm -hmm. just lose all hope and become victims. Or we can, we can choose to just, you know, move on. We can, you know, just choose to know that someone's there for us. So true. And we will be right back after a short break. The best of the holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Medium Lisa Phoenix, Mediumship Messages and Musings, explores mediumship and all things metaphysical. Lisa Phoenix invites you to reach above and beyond your everyday experiences to explore new dimensions in the spirit world. She will do live readings to connect callers to their loved ones in spirit, shares engaging stories and teachings from her own personal experience, and will have intriguing conversations with other mediums, spiritual teachers, and healers to help you understand the metaphysical world so you can connect to these forces in your day-to-day life. Join your host on this magical and metaphysical journey into the world of spirit every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Simone Millicis would like you to know that business can be fun, which is why she wrote the book, Joy of Business. What if you could have the joy of business rather than the stress and struggle? Most of the time, the only thing stopping you from a thriving business is you. In the Joy of Business book, Simone gives you access consciousness tools and pragmatic ways to get out of your own way and to create the business, life, and living you know is possible and beyond what this reality says is achievable. Business is joy. It's creation. It's generative. It can be the adventure of living. You can purchase your copy of the book through Amazon or Joy of Business website, www.accessjoyofbusiness.com. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. If you've ever said, I do, I do want it all. I do want happiness. I do want love. 
and I do desire the happily ever after fairy tale life, then this show is for you. Join me, Dean Nicole Brandon, for my internationally acclaimed show, Bridal Talk Radio, every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Time, where I'll bring you the top experts in the fields of communication, money, relationships, finance, pleasure, play, travel, sexuality, parenting, real estate, adventure, comfort, care, passion, and love. Bringing a more conscious lifestyle to your world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. And we have Nancy today with us, whose soul's desire is to give back to the universe and to serve everyone by assisting them on their life's journey through her beautiful book, Choices. And more information is available at um, Choices dash nlb.com so i really really encourage all our readers um our listeners to check out her book it's a beautiful book that will connect you right away with your inner self and you will know you will know that you know all the answers within and the choices that you are making are the right ones welcome back nancy Thank you, Monica. Um, so, yeah, we were talking about it's our choice to stay a victim or be our empowered self and live that life that our soul so wants to and learn those lessons. Yes, I, I believe that's true. And, Monica, you know, nothing is too... Nothing is, is too hard or difficult. You really and truly, I believe that you can have anything you want. I mean, you can have the life you want. You just, you know, we focus, I think as human beings, we get caught up in negativity. Mm-hmm. And, um, one of my professors said that if, um, if, you know, if there are 10 people, around you and nine of them give you a compliment and one of them says something slightly that's not real positive, you will focus on the that, the negative comment because that's what we do. And whatever you focus your attention towards is what you draw to yourself. If you keep thinking and thinking about doom and gloom, then that's what you're calling to yourself. Mm-hmm. If you keep thinking and thinking that you're poor and don't have any money and that's what you bring to yourself. So we need to start focusing on positive things and just trusting that they can happen. I mean, miracles happen every Mm. single day, things that are impossible. And, you know, just that in our society, we don't hear about it because we focus on the negative. You know, (laughs) if a a policeman, um, you know, does something mean, we focus on that. But if a policeman saves a child's life or saves a dog, you hardly ever hear about that. We mm-hmm. have to see to focus on the negative. And, um, it, you know, you've heard, I'm sure that you've heard stories about somebody was in a wreck or something and they, they got out of the car and they lifted up the car with one hand and moved mm-hmm. somebody under the tires of the, I mean, it is impossible for us to lift up a car yeah. just with one hand, but we do it. So you can do anything. I mean, all things are possible. I truly believe that. Mm -hmm. That's so true. I mean, we see miracles happening around us all the time. We limit ourselves. There's Mm -hmm. no one limiting it limiting us it's we are doing it to ourselves and we don't even realize it you know and then we blame everyone else for it you know it's my husband it's the way i grew up. It's, <laughs> you know the government it's religion it's everybody else but we're the ones that are doing it to ourselves and we mm-hmm. don't see it so we are actually self victims we are and I think that realization is enough to put you back in that empowered state once you know that once you realize that then you you just can't live like that anymore well you you know it's easy though to just it's easy to just because we are human beings i mean like look at before 
your radio show. I was frantic because I couldn't find the cord to my computer. <laughs> and I know that Spirit wants to... I, Spirit wrote this book. I did not write it. And I know that Spirit wants the word to the message to get across to, to everyone. So why would I not be able to get on the, the computer? But mm -hmm. I was just frantic. I couldn't find the cord. I didn't know what to do. I was just... And I didn't want to let you down. And <laughs> it, it just... I'm, I was sitting here talking to you, and I looked down, and there was the cord. Oh, wow. And, <laughs> and I, I mean, searched the whole house for this cord, and yeah. uh, it was here all the time. I just get myself into such a frenzy that I, you know, and if you just can take a breath and relax and just know that God's in control. I'm not in control of anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's so true. And, I mean, I truly believe and of course, you know, again, this is a confirmation of, um, you know, spirit, spirit guiding. And like you said, this book came from the spirit. And you are such a beautiful person. We have had several conversations before the show. And your book is so beautiful. And it's so, it's so inspiring and guiding that, I, I like you said, you know, there is no way that this sh show wouldn't have happened. It's like this message needed to come out. And so it again reinforces that if we don't stop ourselves and if we listen to that guidance, if we move in the right direction in spite of our fear, we will never be let down. That's true. That is so true. I believe that with all my heart. Mm -hmm. And we are so grateful for you to share that with us. And, you know, what, whatever, like you said, you Spirit asked you to write that book, so you had no choice um, but to, you know, share it, share it with everyone. So, Nancy, before we go, tell us, what is your what is the favorite part of your book? Anything that you would like to share with the audience? The message that you I know it's all about making the choices, but is it something? Are there any tools that that you would like to share that can help people, um, you know, tune in and know uh, that this is their inner voice? Well, there's a part in the book that um, I wrote about. Um, uh, uh, it was a, a spoof on a cowboy movie, um, and um, anyhow, this it was Arnold Schwarzenegger plays the part of the handsome stranger, and um, he's all dressed in white because he's so pure, and he's helping this little old lady across the street. You know, there's stagecoaches and horses racing across the street, and he's trying to help her. Um, and he's like, don't worry, ma'am, I will get you safely across, you know, and you're in good hands and everything. And he takes her to the other side of the street or the road. And then later he comes and she's been carried across on a stretcher because she got hit by a horse when she was crossing the street. And he, he's, he's perplexed. He comes up to mm -hmm. her asking her why, you know, I helped you get safely across the street. Why did you come back? Mm -hmm. and she's hitting him with her cane and she's screaming at him. And she's like, <laughs> I didn't want to cross the street in the first oh place. You should have minded your own business. And sometimes we do that. We really mm -hmm. want, we have good hearts. We want to help other people. But you know what? Sometimes it's their, it's their life. It's mm -hmm. they have to do it on their own. And you can't force somebody to do anything. We have to, we have to respect that everybody's where they are at this moment in time and they're at the right place. You know, if everybody, you know, what's right for me isn't necessarily right for you or for somebody else. We all have, you know, we're all alike, but we're all unique in different ways. And we have to respect that. Mm -hmm. Honor people's feelings. You know, it just sometimes I think sometimes we get, you can't, I guess you can't force your ideas, ram your ideas down somebody else's throat. I, I just think that we have to trust the spirit can can do the work we don't have to do it all you know wow this is so profound and such a 
important message, Nancy. I think we all forget that, knowing that what, you know, if something works for us, we just want to spread it to people. It's it's like, okay, it worked for us, but it's not necessary that it will work for someone in the same way it worked for us, one thing. Or if this is their life path even, we just forget it all the time. And so this is this is such an important message and such an important lesson. Um, thank you for sharing. I hope Monica that um, I just I just I feel like the book is is going to be a tremendous success. I really believe that spirit wants to get yes. the message out and. You know, I just couldn't have written this book because it was too, um, I, I, w- I would have written a very negative book <laughs> if I wrote about my life's experiences. But the book is up and it's, you know, upbeat and it's cheerful mm-hmm. and it's kind of humorous and everything. And I think it's a, a wonderful message to get out it there. Is. And I know that spirit really wants to get it out there. It definitely is beautiful, just like you. And we wish you all our very best. And we are so grateful to you. Thank you so much, Nancy. Thank you so much, listeners. Namaste and have a blessed life.